Hi everybody, it's Brianne Kerr, Black Status Presenter with Unique, and I am here today to talk about Facebook and your business, Facebooking 101, uh, what to do and what not to do, etiquette and how to use attraction marketing and social media in a super positive, amazing way to allow your business to grow and to share what you do without being a spammer and utilizing the World Wide Web for direct sales, which is at our fingertips. It's absolutely amazing. It's a wonderful, wonderful time to be in direct sales with the, uh, the technology this day and age. So first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Brianne Kerr. I'm a Black Status Presenter with Unique. And um, I have been in direct sales for a little over a year. I hit the top promotional level in my company in eight months. And I did it all via Facebook and via attraction marketing, which means that my company grew and my team grew and they came to me um, primarily. So there, there is a way to be able to work your social media account without being spammy and continuing to add value and build relationships, which is what our profession is all about. It's about relationships. It's adding value to people's lives. It's about being a good person. Our job is about being a good person. And shoving things down people's throats is not the way to do it. Everybody, everybody works their business differently. And so... If you like to take more of an aggressive approach, that's absolutely cool. There's definitely a time and a place, but there's certain things that you can do to make that a little bit easier for yourself. So first off, when you join Unique, um, you will know you immediately your website goes active. Your Facebook profile picture is going to be the picture on your website. So when people visit your website, that's what they're going to see. They don't really want to see pictures of your dogs. They really don't want to see the super cute picture of your kids, even though it's super cute. They want to see you. You see, people want to be friends with a person, not a product. Don't change your unique pro your, your profile picture to the unique logo. Don't make sure that it is you. Now, something that I have done is I don't very often change my profile picture. I found a gorgeous picture of myself um, when I signed up with Unique. It was one of my favorites, and that was it. And I had professional pictures done, and now that is it. And people, when you switch your profile picture too often, that's what people recognize you for. I don't know if you've ever uh, uh, been a part of any groups, but when people change a profile picture, all of a sudden you're like, wait, who are you? What's going on? Well, you need to become familiar with people. People need to remember you, and they're going to remember you by your beautiful profile picture. So the first thing you need to do is to change it to a picture of your smiling face, welcoming, awesome, gorgeous. Now we sell makeup, so wear the makeup. Show your beautiful application. Um, we are so fortunate when that we sell makeup that we get to walk. We get to be walking advertisements all the time. So, super happy, awesome profile picture is absolutely necessary. Next, I'm going to talk about your cover photo. I like to have motivational, inspirational quotes as my cover photo. Even a beautiful picture. Um, anything that is inviting and inspiring and really, really wonderful. Um, I stay away from anything controversial, um, which is sometimes is kind of difficult to do. But before I joined Unique, um, I am a birth activist. I'm a feminist. Um, I empower women. I activate. I activate for women. I am. I love. I love that stuff, and it's really, really important to me. However, when I joined Unique. All of a sudden, social media and my Facebook, well, it's a part of my business. And you never want to push people away. You want to bring them in. You want to grow your market. And you know what? Uh, my clients are people from all different walks of life. So even though sometimes it's really, really tempting um, when you're you know, using your Facebook as a soapbox, but when, you know what, we're working at a, for our business... Definitely don't want to do that. I stay away from politics. I stay away from hot topics. I don't even comment on it because you know what? That shows up in people's news feed too. Um, there is a way, but you still have to be yourself, you know? 
Again, people want to be friends with a person, not a product. So there's absolutely a way to share topics like that or to share your peaceful mind without being controversial. So just make sure that what you're posting and things that you're commenting on, they're not negative. Get rid of the negativity and they're not controversial. All right, going back to negativity. Um, no vague booking, okay? It annoys people. <laughs> it annoys people. We add value. You want to be something that people want what you have. You know, and negative things happen, you guys. Like, I, I don't know, not if you know if you've heard my story, but I joined Unique, and shortly after, I got really, really sick. I had to have brain surgery in October. Um, which was about four or five months after I joined Unique, I was sick a lot. I was in a lot of pain. Now, if I really just posted, I'm so miserable, my body hurts so bad, why is this happening to me? Um, like, how do I take care of three kids when I'm stuck in bed, blah, blah, blah. People would show maybe empathy, and maybe they showed sympathy, but people don't really want that in their life. That's what people are attracted to. There's so much negativity in the world we don't need to put a magnifying glass on it. What this world needs is positivity. That's what people are attracted to. So I would share my life. Absolutely share your life. Again, you're going to hear this. This is a theme. People want to be friends with a person, not a product. They want somebody that they can identify with. So I would share, like, man, there's a lot of health conditions going on, but I am so grateful for my husband, I'm so grateful for my babies, I'm so grateful for awesome doctors, and I just know that this surgery is going to help change my life. People are like, man, that is inspiring. We inspire everybody around us. So share your life, humanize yourself, don't be like a walking, you know, product, but do it with a positive way. And if maybe I did have like a super bummer day where there was a bunch of crazy things going on, I'd share it because people can relate with that too, but I always end it inspirational and positive. Share your business. Open mouth, open business. People need to know that this is what you're doing, but you don't have to be spammy to do that. I can probably count on two hands in the past year how many times I've posted the link to my website on my personal wall. You know, I can share the products. You know, once again, we wear the products on our fees. All you need is a gorgeous selfie that looks absolutely amazing. Um, and you can talk about the products, but you don't have to post a link because we share. We don't sell, you know our business pages for that, and I'll get to that in just a second. Um, so I always talk about Unique. I talk about how it's changing my life. I share all of my friends' promotions because I like to give them props and recognition, but I also like to share with everybody that I know that, man, this is changing people's lives. So shoving things down people's throats is not the way to share. We share with sincerity. So share your life. People need to know that you're open for business. You wouldn't open a brick and mortar store and not advertise, right? So we advertise, but we share, you know, let people know that you're doing this. Get a business page, okay? You can be more direct and post your link on the business page and share that to, to your personal wall if you absolutely have to when we have new products coming out or if you have like a crazy party going on. You can do that from your business page. From your business page, you can also reach lots and lots of people, paid advertising and boosting. So business pages, I feel like, are absolutely amazing. I'm not going to get into details on how to run it now, but absolutely open yourself up a business page. Friends, so many friends. You want to have the most successful people in direct marketing have lots of friends. And by friends, I don't just mean customers. I mean friends. When you add value to people's lives, when you show an interest in people's lives, they're going to show an interest in yours. Go make friends. Don't I, I try to add everybody that I come into contact with from the bank teller to the grocery store lady to the lady at the coffee shop, anybody that I start small talk with and have a connection, the first thing I do is I add them on Facebook. So I'm constantly growing my market. This is what I don't do. I don't add people on Facebook and immediately message them asking them to buy makeup or telling them about the opportunity. 
that's not the way to do it, you guys. There's a better way to do it. Um, I've had this done to me before, and I'm like, oh, hi, you just want to be my friend to sell me stuff. That's not what it's about. It's about knowing and loving and inspiring as many people around you. And when you do that, if they are ready and they are interested in the opportunity because they want what you have, they will come to you. The more people you know, the more relationships you have, the better your business is going to be. Phone. Sorry, guys, it's my mom. I forgot to turn it on silent. Okay, so back to adding friends. There's a feature to people you may know. Now, once upon a time, I absolutely did use this, okay? This was before, and now it's ringing on my toe. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> um, once upon a time, I did use this feature. Now, this was before I had a whole bunch of wise sisters on my friends list. Once you do, which I encourage you to do, I get inspired by all of my wise sisters' posts, um, especially for my immediate team. When I had black status, I had a whole bunch of people that wanted to be my friends, and I didn't. I, I opened it up so a lot of my, my Facebook is public, but my Facebook page is for my market, you know, and it's for my team. So when you do start adding a bunch of wise sisters to your page, don't use the people you may know feature anymore because what you're going to do is you're going to be looking like, oh, we have four connections. Well, one of the, a lot of some of those connections might be your wife sisters, and you don't want to be friend and start, you know, tapping into other people's markets and friends. That's theirs. So, I don't really encourage you to use this feature. If you do use it, look to see who your connections are. If you see a wife sister on there, just just leave it. Um, join a million groups. I'm in so many groups, and I participate in the groups, and I make new friends in the groups. When somebody comments on something that I say, I immediately friend them. I'm constantly growing my friends list. You want as many friends as possible. Um, so join a million groups, meetup.com. Um, go out there, get out the door, and meet people, and add to your friends list. I, let's see, what was the next thing I wanted to talk about? Um, adding to your friends list, I get really excited and I lose my train of thought. Um, oh yes, okay, Facebook algorithms. Here's something that Facebook does. They will pretty much only want to show you in your news feed posts from people that you actively engage with, which means you're probably seeing the same 40 people's posts right? That's really great, but that's not super great when we're growing our friends list and we actually want those people to be seeing our posts, right? So this is what you need to do. Once a week, part of working my business is I go through my Facebook friends list and I connect with people that I haven't connected with in a while. The second that you comment on one of their pictures or message them to see how they're doing or comment on their wall, they are going to pop up in your algorithm and you are going to do, <laughs> it was distracting me, and you are going, they're going to see your post, and you're going to see their post, so you need to constantly be stirring the pot of your friends list. You want, I mean, what's the point of making posts if the same people see it all the time? What's the point of having a big friends list if not everybody is seeing your post? Something else that you need to do, especially when you have our teammates on your friends list, comment, don't like, like and comment. Liking, when you comment on somebody's post, for instance, if I see one of my unique girls on my team make a post about her business or about a promotion, comment on it. The more comments it sees, the more weight it has, and the more it gets pushed up into the wall and to the news feed. Okay, if nothing has any comments or likes, it gets lost. Nobody will ever see it. Comment on every single post that you see. Engage with people and show an interest in people's lives. This is going to keep your news feed fresh. This is going to add weight to the posts that you want people to be able to see. So you have to Facebook with a purpose. Um, every once in a while when I'm sleepy, I get on Facebook and it's just kind of mindlessly looking and commenting. I'm still working my business because I'm commenting and I'm making new friends and I'm having new connections. But when we're doing this for our business and we are so, so lucky that most people don't get paid to Facebook. I do, you know. So you want to make sure that you're Facebooking with a purpose. And so you are constantly shaking things up. 
I think that that about covers it. This, you know, Facebook 101. The more that you use Facebook for your business, the more you 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 understand the do's and the don'ts and etiquette. Um, oh, one last thing. When you do are adding new friends, don't immediately add them to your group. If you have a beauty group, which I suggest everybody does, everybody should have a group where you talk about all sorts of beauty things, and it's a, a VIP group. I have a VIP group to keep all of my market together so they know that it's about my business and they, and they can go there to ask questions about products, and I post fun beauty articles and stuff. Um, when you add new people, don't immediately add them to your business group, okay, because that's that's devaluing your relationship with them. That's saying that I don't really care about you. I just want you to buy my product and join my team. That's giving all of direct sales a bad name, and that's not the way that you work your business. Okay, build relationships with people. There is a way to be direct. There is a way to message people and talk to them about products and the opportunity. Not talking about this and that in this video. Just be aware, again. I'm going to end it with what I've been saying this entire time. People want to be friends with a person, not a product. Be a good person. Add value to people's lives. Social media is one of the most amazing tools that we have to reach new people, to add new friends, and to add value to people's lives. So use it appropriately. All right, you guys. Facebook 101. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.